Hey, I'm Pete with Dillon Rifle Company. We're down here in the Dillon Range in Arizona doing some uh, T&E uh, between a 50 and a 338. We've got some targets set up here. We're going to get some muzzle velocity. We're going to uh, take a look at different guns, different barrels, different optics. And uh, once we're done with the hard work, we're going to have some fun. We're going to shoot at uh, some steel. We've got some block walls we're going to shoot through with uh, both the 50 and the 338. And then uh, we're going to put some watermelons in this car and just for fun to see how much the how much the bullets penetrate through. That's pretty much what we have going on today. Square. Yeah, I got the center square. Alright, come down one full rotation. That's what I've done. did the uh, lines yesterday going up and confirming dope. Uh, today we just uh, confirmed our dope for 600. We ran the uh, muzzle velocity and uh, now we're ready to do some shooting down here at the, uh, at the implements we discussed earlier. I'm ready. All right. I, I would hold a little to the right. I held the uh, right edge. Okay, go a little more. <laughs> On target. Send it. Target. Just about an uh, inch out of center. On target. On target. Three, two, one, bust. I got it. You bastard. I got it. Man, I don't like shooting next to you. Why, because I hit the target? Well, maybe that, for two reasons. But the other one is the blast. Oh yeah. How about we move up to maybe like 300 yards? Yeah, that and sounds then, good. Because uh, we only have these bricks that Skippy made us. We only have one each. Skippy actually did these right. He put mortar all the way through them and then filled them up with dirt. So let's see what happens, especially the difference between the 338 and the 50 cal. Any bets? I bet the 338 will penetrate. It'll go through. The 50 cal just knocked the whole wall down. One more. Aim more for that. Do you see where you hit? Yep. Yeah. All the sand's coming out. I think you're that guy. Which guy? You're the dick that shoots the other guy's target. <laughs> so shoot your target again, because I think you missed the watermelon because you're a little high. Same spot. We'll go look at it. I'll shoot mine. That guy owes a case of beer. Failure to follow, simple instructions. <laughs> Directed by the instructor and the range safety officer more than once. It's warmed up for you, it's ready to go. It has a nice big hole through it. So I'm gonna hit it where the watermelon used to be. And then I'll hit the center mass about three feet lower to get a better impact because you cracked the top part. You can, yep. see, you can see some light. All right, going Sandy. I got sand, it just went through my eyeball, out my foot.
Cool. Let's go check it out. Well, made it. Didn't go quite penetrate the, the watermelon, but it went inside of it. So it just dented the watermelon, the 50 cal. That was the first one, it was just three, three, eight years. Yeah, yeah. Right? So mine might have went over a little bit. Well, what did it do when you shot it below but here? When so I shot down below, here, it has a cavity about the size of yep. the watermelon. And then it blew out the back here. Yeah. But the uh, cans behind it yeah. look pretty good. So this can the dirt actually stopped the impact. Yeah. Right? So I guess uh, you're going to build a house. Yeah. Make sure they fill it up, huh? Yeah. Then, so uh, we get to shoot this one again. Nothing yeah. happened. So we got his hair. Yeah. And uh, you know what? When you look at the backside, if you were behind this wall, you'd have been okay. Yeah. We'll do one more here and then uh, move to the car. Yeah. All right. Wall's coming down. Ready? One more. One more coming at the wall. Nice. So, uh, that's a couple rounds there of 50. Yeah. Not bad, huh? All right, that. So we went through cinder block all the way through. Not bad. So we shoot this beautiful four Taurus. We should be giving to your daughters instead of blowing it up. But it's okay. Alright, so this other damage right here was uh, a shrapnel from one of the other rounds hitting the steel plate. Just shows you how far that shrapnel can go. So pretty good distance on that. But anyway. So I'm gonna shoot my door, which is this is that, is that your door the right passenger there? door. Alright. And then I got two watermelons in there. Colton, if you want to check it out. Ready. Good. All right, on target. Holding that dark space in the wheel well. Yeah, I think I'm holding a little bit left. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, on target. Now hold at the three o'clock position on that tire, but in the dark spot between the tire and the wheel well. I'm gonna shoot the right door on the passenger side. Pete. Right, going hot, cold. All right. On target. Side back. Daddy. Sound of freedom above. Well, just below the door handle there. Yeah, that was me. I got nervous. No, I hit, it just broke the window. If I hit the window, then we're all going home and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to yeah, reevaluate my life. Ammo! I'm going to shoot uh, one more. All right. I don't see any water villages. Yeah, the padding in the doors is notoriously better in a Taurus on the front doors than the back doors. Is that a fact? Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the dealer. <laughs> Certainly sees big holes versus little holes. See, look. Watermelon. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. All the way down. Well, you know what, though? That makes me think that the uh, the seal isn't so good on the Taurus. Yeah. Oh, oh look at this. This is a mess Slap here. This is a big it's mess. It's like when my kids make breakfast. Yep. Yeah, 
So, how does the uh, plastic look on your door? Did it just... You know what? It comes right through there yeah. pretty, pretty good. But, you come on this side. Oh, there we go. This is where 50 cal and 338 Makua make their money. The bullet started tumbling after it hit the plastic. This is small shrapnel here, coming there. And this peak was way off, but I don't think he was that far. No, no, no. You can see watermelon juice all the way through. So that's going through everything right there. Nice. Still no damage to the plastic, it's crazy. Even with the bullet tumble in there. Ah, my Topo Chico bottle survived. Dang. As it turns out, the 98 Taurus is not bulletproof. Oh, Topo Chico. Now we'll bring a minigun out. Just tell people to all buy miniguns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about scopes or any of that. 